crew resource management began in the 1980s in the military, looking at helicopters landing on aircraft carriers. What they learned was the importance of empowering even the lowest person on the totem pole to call off an aircraft landing because often it's that individual that understands the risks involved. In medicine, we have oftentimes relied on the physician as the sole captain of the ship in the decision making. And the ancillary personnel, nurses, medical assistants, residents, medical students, haven't always felt comfortable raising questions as to why a particular path has been chosen for a patient. It is crew resource management that empowers people to learn how to ask the questions in a comfortable way and have the more senior physicians be comfortable answering those questions. If this type of communication is done in a respectful manner, it's a win-win situation for everyone involved. Crew resource management involves essentially five steps. The first step is asking for relevant information. So for example, if there is an abnormal vital sign, you are now aware of that vital sign. Blood pressure was 160 over 110. The second element is learning to offer relevant information. As a nurse, if you take vital signs, you cannot assume that I am just going to look at the vital sign sheet and understand that the blood pressure was 160 over 110. As a team member, it's your responsibility to offer that information. From there, we develop what's called a shared mental model. A shared mental model is when we're on both the same page. I understand the blood pressure is elevated and I give you an order to give the patient a medication to treat that elevation of blood pressure. Number four is advocacy. If, as the nurse, you now understand that the patient has an allergy to the medication that I have now asked you to deliver, and I have forgotten that the patient has that allergy, you must advocate for patient safety. And you must remind me, oh, Dr. Mann, do you remember this patient has an allergy to lisinopril or labetalol or whatever the medication is? And then number five, if I have a disagreement in the discussion that we get to a place in conflict resolution, which is the fifth stage, where if there's a conflict and we can't get on the a same sheet of music or sh shared mental model that we are able to constructively uh, resolve our differences.